This is EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning. This is Session 2, Video Clip 2. The analysis questions for this particular video clip are as follows. Number 1. How was PBL being implemented in each of the instances cited in this video clip? Number 2. What is the role of performance-based assessment? giving a presentation or a demonstration of the learning achieved in each of the instances cited in this video clip. Number three, what roles do the teachers or instructors play in each of the instances cited in this video clip? And number four, how much independence do the students, learner, students or learners have in each of the instances cited in this video? This video clip and the next accesses a series of video clips that have been posted publicly on YouTube. These clips describe various implementations of PBL in high schools and instances of higher education in countries around the world. You're being requested to view each of the video clips and then discuss what you have viewed when you get to the tutorial sessions for session two. In a sense, this video clip is going to be very, very, very short um, because it just introduces very briefly the, uh, the various video clips in the, in the number of different uh, settings. And uh, the same will be done for the next video clip as well. So the first instance that uh, you'll come across in this video clip is uh, PBL in medical schools. And there's given in a university um, example in the clip that uh, will be accessed here. All of the links to the YouTube uh, video clips will actually be given in the um, WebCT portion of this course. The next set of video clips um, are set within a project-based learning kind of model and uh, there are some examples given in terms of PBL within a civil engineering program at Limerick University um, in the UK and PBL in aviation engineering as given in a high school. The next set of um, PBL instances is uh, taken from a number of different uh, locations. Um, the first one is talking about PBL in building design, so architecture related types of uh, instances and that's set in a high school in the United States. And then there's an integrated studies um, video clip that's also um, accessed here or referenced and that's set in a high school as well. For a theoretical perspective, um, I'm requesting that you read the following article in mededonline.org and the reference is given again in WebCT. After viewing all of the video clips that are referenced in this, this particular video clip, I would like you to discuss the synthesis questions that are given for this uh, set of video clips. Number one, why are there more examples of project-based learning compared to the number of problem-based learning examples? Number two, why does there seem to be more in intervention by the teacher instructor in some instances cited in these videos as compared to other instances? What might be the impact of greater intervention on the learning that's achieved? And number three, can you detect a relationship between the need to cover specific content and the amount of freedom given to learners to develop their own solutions to the problems? If so, what is the nature of the relationship and why might that relationship exist?